Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Wally Ortiz, EST4 Product Manager with Edwards. Thank you for joining me today. Over the next few minutes, I'll walk through the benefits included with EST4, our Edwards Emergency Communication Platform that was released in August 2019. Since its release, EST4 has been used to protect occupants in many building types, like in the case of financial institutions, university campuses, correctional facilities, office buildings, hospitals, and some in the hospitality sector, with the largest network encompassing over 70 nodes. Now, because of our time together is limited, I'll cover some of the EST4 benefits, which will not be comprehensive, but please feel free to ask questions of topics that you might have questions on. I'll entertain those questions during the Q&A session. So what is EST4? So EST4 is Edward's premier flagship emergency communication system used to protect occupants in large facilities. EST4 was developed while leveraging the great benefits of its predecessor, EST3, while adding more features and functionality that are expected by today's customers. So at Edwards, we recognize that when customers install a fire alarm system to protect people and property, they make a significant investment. So we wanted to protect that investment and purposely architected EST4 to leverage many of a facility's existing devices and wiring infrastructure to reduce the cost associated with updating their system to the latest technology. So EST4 allows existing Edwards products to move to the next generation of technology easily and affordably. So how is this accomplished, you might ask? Well, EST4 reuses many of EST3 components like in the case of the back boxes, chassis, power supplies, loop controllers, and many other panel components. So this all translates into an economical transition from EST3 to EST4, which further translates into a cost savings opportunity while upgrading to a state-of-the-art fire system. Our field devices, such as smoke detectors, heat detectors, and notification appliances are also designed to work seamlessly with our current and previous fire systems. Now, traditionally, fire systems are difficult to navigate and use, but with EST4, new components are also part of the system that simplifies the use of the system. Like in the case of the panels LCD. We'll show a brief demonstration towards the end of the presentation to show how easy it is to navigate the panels LCD. Incident Management System Support, or also known as our Color Graphics Package. This allows interfacing EST3 and EST4 networks while displaying events at a central location. And when programmed to do so, can also be used to activate outputs on each system. This is a very helpful solution for sites who wish to slowly migrate from EST3 to EST4. So this solution lends itself as a simple transition again, from EST3 to EST4 while protecting occupants and property. The other one is the installation cost savings. So EST4 reduces installation costs by having the capability to deliver three distinct signals across the network. That is panel to panel communications, audio and fire phone data over a single pair of wires or a single fiber strand. This reduces the cost of cable, labor used to to pull the cable in many cases. It may also reduce the conduit size when conduit is required in the installation. 100 digital audio channels. It's another benefit that I like talking about. ESC4 can be programmed to provide specific instructions using pre-recorded messages to building occupants during emergency situations. So every ESC4 can deliver up to 100 concurrent messages at no extra cost. It's all included and controlled through software. So no additional hardware is required on applications that use between one and 100 audio channels. This offers the flexibility needed in today's changing building codes and the need to supply specific messages to many areas of a building. Survivability. So all pre-recorded messages reside at every panel CPU. Pre-recorded messages do not travel through network wiring during an event to get to the areas needed. They are stored locally. So in the unlikely event of a catastrophic network failure, 
Any local alarm will have pre-recorded local messages placed based on programming, not a fallback tone that could create confusion during emergency situations. This functionality ensures that during an emergency event, the messaging being played is the messaging in the emergency plan, so ensuring occupants respond accordingly. Firewall in the topic of cybersecurity. It's yet another benefit. So at Edwards, we were thinking of the possibility when ESC4 was under development and purposely designed firewalls that protect the fire system from external cyber threats. Now, one could think that it's not necessary to connect a fire system to the outside world, but in today's connected world, this is not always practical or even acceptable. So ESC4 offers the flexibility of external connectivity, which is accomplished through a fire listed proxy firewall that is not a bolt on. It's part of the fire panel and being part of the fire system ensures compatibility with the panel. And most, most importantly, it is a cyber barrier between the fire network and external connections made to central stations, web browsers, or email servers, for example. So emails from the panel are a great way to be informed of panel event activations. The flexibility that comes along through many network configuration options or topologies is yet another benefit. So ESC4 supports a variety of network configurations in addition to the traditional Class A and Class B circuits. It supports redundant Class B, for example, star, mesh, and many hybrid configurations, which is helpful when we think about a system that adapts to a variety of site configurations while complying with the current codes and standards. This flexibility ensures that complexities that are found within different building layouts can easily be accommodated by EST4. If you're a programmer, wouldn't it be great to have access to the latest system database to make updates to the database or to the system configuration as necessary? Database storage and archiving is yet another benefit that comes along with EST4. Well, ESD4 allows storing multiple copies of the database within its CPUs, which can be retrieved utilizing the configuration utility. This capability allows companies with multiple programmers to have access to the latest database when changes are necessary. So there is no need to wait around for a copy of the database that a technician might have on their computer, as a copy of the latest database is stored locally on the panel to be retrieved and it's then transferred back onto the system when a download to the system is performed. One of my favorite benefits is the increased efficiency through remote connectivity, which allows customers to, one, prioritize service calls. So if a trouble is active on the system, does it require immediate assistance or should the response be delayed? It helps determine the skill set of the personnel dispatched to an EST4 site. You know, should a highly experienced technician be deployed to serve as a system or could a less experienced person address a reported event? It ensures the service personnel has the proper parts. So when dispatched to an EST4 service call, for example. So what are the parts that are necessary for the dispatch technician to have available before arriving at a site? Which improves system uptime, right? Having the right parts and the appropriate skill set leads to better customer service and a better experience. It also improves first time resolution. It helps reduce the number of trips to address a service call. And with remote connectivity, a customer can utilize a web browser of their choice to retrieve panel status information. So no special tools are necessary to identify system status. Again, simply use a web browser of your choice. So again, thank you for joining me today and learning about some of the EST4 benefits. Since this is not a comprehensive list of benefits, I would ask that you reach out for more detailed information on the system. You can do so by emailing me directly at the email listed below. I will now turn it over to Dave, who will provide a live demonstration of the panel's LCD navigation. Welcome everyone. My name is Dave McClevage. I'm going to show you some of the operator interface on the four LCD screen. First, I want to show you the system information. This is a text file that's loaded into the configuration utility and can display information relevant to your system. This can be a sequence of operations, a contact list, who to call. This can provide information that you want 
easily available to anyone who comes to the panel. From the project tree, if I navigate to a device, pull up the smoke detector, I can display the maintenance. If I log in with the proper credentials, now when I go to the project tree and I go to that device, I still have the maintenance ability, but I also have disable, enable, and many other functions that I can do to that detector. Because I'm logged in, I can simply touch the disable, and now I get a disabled point, which is that detector that I selected. From this, I can select that detector, click on the magnifying glass, pull up that specific detector, and then enable it. Once I sign out of the system, the system returns to normal. Another popular feature of the EST4 is the ability to load a custom screen image. In the 4CU, there is an option to load a JPEG file that will be used as the default normal screen image. This is a great benefit to maintain the brand image for the facility as the public may be walking by. Instead of seeing a plain text screen, the 4 LCD can display an image that ties in with the marketing of the facility. From the system info screen, I can select test indicators. Selecting the test indicators will flash the LEDs to their pre-configured colors and flashes the LCD screen through all of its available colors. And then the system returns to normal once I press the X. And that concludes the demonstration of the 4LCD screen. Thank you for your time.